Hello, beautiful people on the other side of the screen. You are now tuned in to Audio Tree Live. Today is Sunday, December 10th, and I am your host, Psalm One. I want to welcome all the newbies to the channel, but if you've watched more than one Audio Tree Live session and you're not subscribed, please do that now to get on Santa's nice list. And while you're at it, follow Audio Tree on Spotify, Bandcamp, or wherever you bang your music. Today we have indie rock crew of love in studio, straight out of Newtown, Connecticut. Kind of legendary, actually. Yeah, for the uninitiated, if you like emotive vocals, punchy guitars, and loud rock tunes injected with slick noise pop and shoegaze, you've come to the right place. We're going on an adventure of heaviness with blasts of charm and niche pockets of floatiness. You might also recognize some folks as members of the group Stove and Pet Fox here, so you know we're in for a special treat. Get ready, ladies, ladies, and gentlemen, for Of Love. <laughs>
We're here with Steve, Morgan, John, and Theo, better known as Of Love. Catch your breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's all catch our breaths. A little nervous. Uh, y'all are sounding pretty good. Have y'all played together in bands for, for very long? I mean, it sounds pretty professional A over here. <laughs> Not L- as much as you bit? think. <laughs> uh, y'all played my jam, Eat More, to start the set. The melodies are so on point, and the way you add depth with ah, the distortion. I love that song, well, so I'm so glad you played that. that um, means a lot. Yeah. How y'all feeling? Everybody's feeling good? Feeling really good. Yeah. Yeah. So you flew here yeah, last night. This is the first time we've ever flown to play a show. Yeah. We're, we're making it now, right? We're on, we're on the up, I think. Pretty famous <laughs> if you're flying to go to shows and not just packing in a, a van. Yeah, I don't think it'll be a regular thing. This is a <laughs> special occasion. <laughs> well, glad to have you here. Very um, glad to be here. Speaking of these flights, what are your travel must-haves for, for this sort of thing? Well, for me, it's just my Nintendo Switch. Okay. I don't know. If, can I say Nintendo on here? Nintendo. All right. <laughs> I'll take the I'll take the blame. <laughs> what What are your games? What are you feeling on the Switch these days? A uh, lot of Mario Kart, a little bit of Smash Brothers. Play this game Overwatch a lot, but uh, yeah, mo- mostly just those three. That's all you really need. I mean, Mario Kart and Smash Brothers. I think they're the best two yeah. games ever. Yeah. Okay. Were yeah. you a, a regular Nintendo fan? Um, like the first one, are you old enough to remember that like I am? Oh yeah. I mean, well, yeah, I was born in 89. So I, 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 I didn't, we didn't have one of our own. I don't think we got an N64 like 10 years after they came out. That was like our, one of our first consoles, I think at the house. You're saying our, because you have family in here today. Yes. Yes. So did y'all fight over these consoles as, as youths? I'm trying to think of our first one. Cause it, it really was like, I think we got lent like a Sega Genesis um, oh, right. Uncle Jerry's. We a lot of Toe Jam and Earl and yeah. uh, Sonic. But then, yeah, I feel like once we had the N64, granted, I, again, I don't know if it was ours or not. Um, I personally mastered Mario Kart N64. I feel like John's the GameCube guy. Steve's the Switch guy. So you personally mastered this game. Big time. So you're whooping ass, whoever. I'm trying to, I'm trying to challenge globally. <laughs> okay, yeah. so get online with it. For sure. Absolutely. Um, any other flying must-haves for any other members here, like a travel pillow, a book. For the plane, it's always just a good pair of headphones, like noise canceling headphones. I was sitting directly in front of a, a dog. <laughs> a the cocker spaniel. Yesterday. <laughs> was the dog making noise? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my the, goodness. The, you know, you turn that switch on the headphones. I'm glad you had those. Um, N- Newtown, Connecticut. <laughs> I love that. It's like, hey, woo, Newtown, Connecticut. Yeah. Um, I did a little research on this place. And I found that Scrabble was kind of invented there. That's, the, like, I've always been told this, but, like, uh, there's, like, uh, there's a bit of a debate. Like, apparently the guy that, like, bought the rights to it was sure, the yeah. one, I guess. Like, so, so it's it technically created there. Yeah. yeah, it was like a crisscrossy game of words. And I then this guy from, from your hometown basically brought the rights and blew up off of it. Yep, yep. So, you know, good company. Hell yeah. (laughs) Um, We've got some Audio Tree double dippers in here today. Is there one amongst you that is an Audio Tree virgin or no? Audio Tree virgin. Any tips for the Audio Tree virgin over here? I think he's handling it better than the rest of us. (laughs) You know what it is? It's the the tag hanging off of your shades. Just trying to hide my face as much as possible. (laughs) I mean, it's it's pretty cool, but you cannot uh, hide. <laughs> you cannot hide. I tried. Um, Morgan, last time we spoke, I was waxing poetic about the taco man by my house. That's right. It's the weekend, and he should be open, but he wasn't around yesterday, okay. which was a Saturday. Um, I'm torn about this recommendation. Um, so please... If you go around there and you don't see him, please text me and yell at me. But as uh, as an aside, if you go to El Milagro on Blue Island, okay, you'll get the tacos up. that will make you happy. Um, any taco spot that makes tortillas in house is going to be you know. worth it. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. only like one that I know of in, in Brooklyn that I go to that makes their own tortillas. It's my favorite. I feel like I've been there. Is it like a big kind of like hipster building that looks yeah. really cool yeah, and smells yeah. really good? It's very, yeah, it's the hot spot. Yeah. yeah. What's your taco order? What's it called? Uh, 
I I don't go too crazy. Well, <laughs> yes and no. I mostly just chicken or beef, but like I like to get lengua. It's like cow tongue. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes if they have it, not a, not every place has that though. But it's true. I do. That's that's the craziest I'll get with tacos. I think. How many in your order? Three is usually the magic number, but yeah, I guess it it all depends. Some places like they're all different sizes, and you know, all sure. That. Yeah, it's like I don't there's know. a whole science to it. Yeah, yeah. Three, I think, is the average taco number for me. Okay, cool. Um, you're not on tour right now, and you flew into Chicago for Sleeping Village tonight. You're playing Sleeping Village. Yeah, yeah. What's the show? So our label, Exponing and Sound. It's doing like a showcase because um, our friends from Switzerland, Disco Dooms, like my favorite band of all time. But every time they come around, if we're able to play with them, we will, like no matter where, if it's possible. You sure. Know? So, like, um, we played a couple shows with them a couple weeks ago when they were on, like, in the Northeast, but then uh, they've been on tour since. So, we just uh, figured we'd come out and play yeah. them. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. And I'm very happy that you decided to come over to Audio Tree before the show too. Yeah, I'm I'm really uh grateful y'all were down to do this. Like it's pretty last minute kind of thing. Yeah. No, we were down. Um you're you play with like friends a lot, would you say? Besides family obviously, but you, you I'd play say with mostly, friends a lot. Most like other bands we play with and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd say mo like that's I always prefer to play with someone I'm friends with and even even if it was like my favorite band or my best friends I'd probably pick my friends over that I don't know that's well that's that what this, this is like both so it works out tonight yeah can know. we be friends of course yeah okay we, so it's already happened yeah so be my friend <laughs> and play some more music for me <laughs> um
just heard Strokes, a uh, sweet ditty by none other than Of Love. So this is one of the last sessions of 2023 here at Audio Tree. And we couldn't think of a better band for me to end it with. Um, let's play a game. Shit that didn't suck in 2023. Um, kind of like personal highlights. Um, Morgan, let's start with you. I've actually had a really great year despite uh, other shitty things, but uh, I got married this year. Oh, congratulations. Thank me you. too. Congratulations. That's what's up. Yeah. yeah. Ever, all of these Marriage, guys love. Here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, awesome. And uh, yeah, and this is my second time being here this year, so that's another thing to be grateful for. I know you just yeah. can't stay away, man. Yeah. I hope to be back again soon. But that's yeah. what's up. Definitely two highlights for me. What um, didn't suck for you? Um, well, I was honestly Morgan's wedding was I, I would say the the most fun wedding I've ever been to, but it was also just one of the best like getaway trips I've ever had. Like it was just like this little like I don't know what just to call it. It's a whole lot of friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It felt like well, like a sleepaway camp, but with only people you wanted to hang out with. And nice. <laughs> I don't know. It was really nice. The music was good? Oh, yeah. Theo yeah. and Morgan. Theo and I actually yeah, you played, played a wedding? Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Theo awesome. and I are sort of like moonlighting as a wedding band these days. I, only I only occasionally. That. That, it's so much fun, actually. It is a lot of fun. Yeah. More than I'd like to admit. But. You didn't do any uh, Bruno Mars covers, did you? No. Okay, good. Should have. No, Those go off at re- weddings. Bruno I, Mars songs go. <laughs> yeah, I would have danced myself. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta throw that one in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a wedding DJ for a, a quick stint in my life, and th- that song and um, Sweet Caroline, obviously. You know, there are certain ones that go off all the time. Cha Cha Slide, but you know, 24 Carat. What? What? Bruno Mars. Let me stop talking about Bruno Mars. It has <laughs> nothing to do with this. <laughs> but yeah. Congrats on the wedding. You as well. Thanks. Thank you. What what's up? What's up, glasses? I got it. What what are your, what are your highlights of the There's year? There's a few things, honestly. I mean, Let me know. Okay, back to back championships in Division Five softball. Okay. Okay. Bambury Industrial Softball League, Division okay. Five World Champions. That's what's up. Yeah. That's our uh, that was pretty fun. Team. Got to see some good comedians this year. Um, I got sports hernia surgery. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> And it was, Sports hernia or the yeah, surgery? Both. Okay. Yeah, it was a great year. All right. Yeah, and we're playing a lot of shows again, so that I think too. that's probably the best thing. Sports and music, I mean, makes the whole world happen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Theo, what about you? Yeah, I mean, not to piggyback on it, Morgan's wedding was definitely uh, just a, a highlight just in regards of, like, seeing a ton of friends that we grew up with. Uh, gather all in the same place, right, that we haven't seen in a long time. Um, yeah, and then, honestly, just, like, traveling, whether it was touring or um, just for leisure, was really nice, so. Where'd you go for leisure? Ah, uh, Hawaii. Okay. Yeah. No judgment. No, it was, <laughs> it was a good time. <laughs> hey, good, good, good. Um, are we loving the holidays? A lot of people love this time of year. Some people hate this time of year. How, what's the consensus here, since we're here with family? Indifferent. Indifferent. That's I think I, month. I like them more that we have like <laughs> nephews and nieces now. So it's like now more about them. So yeah, the kids. Yeah. It felt weird. We were like still trying to like have family Christmas together and we're like in our 30s and stuff. And we don't uh, we don't need to do this. But now <laughs> there's youngins around. I don't know. It's, it's yeah. It's, I don't know. It's wild because Christmas is usually like as a child, it's like, oh, my God, so much wonder. So much merriment. Oh, totally. And then as you get older, it's like you realize, you know, present company excluded, how dysfunctional your family is and (laughs) how those dynamics uh, tend to work out as adults. But then, you know, somebody has a child and then the child is like, ooh, Santa. And you're like, okay, we can do this. Yeah, that's true. Yeah? Yeah. Do you have any, any favorite holiday movies? And please excuse my earbud, my ears are freakishly small, but, you know, we do what we can here. Um, holiday movies. Yeah, we were just talking about Krampus. That's a, that's a fun one. When you guys watched Home Alone last night, right? Yeah. I just watched it last yeah. night. Yeah. Just Home Alone. Amazing but, John Candy cameo in that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, Krampus is like a newer one, but I've been watching it every year since it came out. It's, uh, it's like... I don't know what to call it. It's it's 
it's kind of like similar to Gremlins in that it's like ho- horror esque, but it's like f- funny too. Like I don't know, there's definitely like a, yeah, horror holiday. Yeah, it's it's Asian. like a fun. It's all practical effects too and stuff. It's like I don't know, it's a fun movie. Yeah, um, someone tweeted the other day. Um, why were the Who's so concerned about what the Grinch wore when he had his whole ass out the whole movie? <laughs> And this was like a piece of information that I'd forgotten about. <laughs> I would have never thought about it. Yeah, I wasn't aware. That. Yeah, the Grinch had his ass out the whole time. Nice. Um, why do you think that was? I thought it was pretty common in like older cartoons. I feel like people would like, like Winnie the Pooh, just a shirt on, you know? Like mm-hmm. it's, I don't know why they stopped there. He also walked around with a gun quite a bit. Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, no pants, oh, and he had right, a little musket as well. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Insane, actually. He's not a great. <laughs> Role model. <laughs> I loved him as a kid. That might be why I am who I am today. Though. Yeah. Just, uh, never mind. <laughs> 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 to get away from Winnie the Pooh's not, not having pants, um, I want to ask a question about the band. Um, who haven't you worked with that you love to work with? You work with a lot of folks. Um, this band, Tricot from Japan, is like my all-time favorite band right now. Like, uh, I don't know what I would do with, with them in particular, but it's just a, just a dream to yeah, do something, even if it's just a show with them or something, but yeah. And it's good to dream and putting it out there. My bad. Yeah, go ahead. Well, Gabriel from Disco Doom. We've always wanted to record with him, but we got to fly over there, you know? One Those of these flights days. again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> got to save up. You've made it, though, so just hop a flight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many multi-instrumentalists do we have in here? I think we all play all of these instruments in here. He right? is really the guy that like can play anything, though. Stop that. Look. The oboe? I bet he can. No oboe. I did play trumpet and mellophone and upright bass uh, in grade school. Oh, okay. <laughs> Was that a good memory of yours? Because your whole face just contorted when you said grade school. I, I like enjoyed it. Um, but then my friends would always take pictures of me playing trumpet, and I, that's why I stopped. <laughs> I, didn't like, I didn't like how I looked. Yeah, well, you know. I played the trumpet for two seconds. It's fun? It yeah, it's fun. And our dad is actually a, a very good saxophone player. He's the one that does the solo in Cheer Up. So we've got some, uh, some horns in our, our background. Yeah. yeah. Um, speaking of your dad, I read a rumor that, was he in a Christian rock band back in the day? He like, had his own, early, in the 90s, he had like one Christian rock album. Yeah? It's called First Love. Did you like it? I... Yeah, at the time. I, I don't, yeah. That's a crazy question, because it was like, no, no we didn't I, like it, I mean, you know? Your family watches. Yeah, it's hard to say. Yeah. It Does it, did it inform uh, your music a, a, a little bit, seeing, like, your dad, you know, do professional things? Definitely. Yeah, I mean, he had us play with him in church a lot, like, growing up and stuff, so that was, like, a lot of our first experiences playing with other people and stuff, and... Yeah, I mean, I couldn't say what exactly, but I know it definitely helped. <laughs> sure. Ways, like. We have that in common as well. I started, like, singing in church and playing drums in church. Right on. Because it was just like, I'm going to be bored to tears if, we, yeah, <laughs> if I, I don't get to do else. something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's a big part of it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, yeah, thanks for uh, shining a little bit more light on that. Of course. Let's get into some more music. Sounds good. Yeah. Do a couple old ones.
I'll take time and I'll take what's already mine and I'll be fine. I love that lyric. Thank you so much for playing that. And a very big thank you to All of Love for blessing us today. And as always, major love to everyone here at Audio Tree spreading the gospel of live music. All of Love is playing Sleeping Village here in Chicago tonight. And if you didn't get tickets, tough titties, but when they're in your city... Please get tickets to see them because they're amazing, obviously. Um, also get into all their music, including their 2021 album, Buds, if you haven't already because you love great music. And also just go to like Bandcamp or wherever you buy music and buy all that shit. Just do that. Uh, once again, likes are good, but subscribing to Audio Tree means you get these dope videos at the top of your feed every single time they drop. So make sure to do that. Get cool merch like this shirt at audiotree.shop. And if you want the session audio, get it on apps like Tidal or wherever you stream your music. Finally, follow Audio Tree on social media for more fun content. I'm Psalm One, and I'm here for good music and good conversation. Till next time, stay dangerous. Peace. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?